everyone, this is Alan here from BMW Durham, back again with another video. Uh, today we're doing launch control in my 2024 BMW M240i. All right, so we're in the car and just want you to see that we are at uh, 3,983 kilometers. So I suggest you at least pass 2,000 kilometers before you attempt to do this, just so that you're not putting extra wear on the uh, engine components because it does put a lot of uh, wear on the engine and tranny. Uh, so that's number one. And then we'll continue. Okay, so we're in the car. And first thing we're gonna do, of course, put on your seatbelt. And then what we're going to do is, we've got the car on, I've just had it warming up a little bit so that we can do this. First thing is put it into Sport Plus. So we're in Sport Plus. Then I'm gonna hit the traction button. It says on the screen, the second one from the top, DSC on, dynamic traction, DSC off. We need it in dynamic traction. And then we're gonna put the transmission. So let me just put it into drive. And then I'm gonna to toggle down one more time so we can get it into the sport transmission mode. So that's still automatic, just shifts faster and rougher for you. So now that we're here, uh, what we're going to do is I'm gonna stand with my left foot on the brake and then I'm gonna stand on the uh, gas pedal with my right foot. And I've got it on the adaptive content view. So because I'm in the adaptive content view through the live vehicle menu, it's giving me uh, boost, uh, horsepower torque and oil temp so with the b58 tu that's in this vehicle uh, it's going to hold at about 11 psi and that's when you're going to want to take your foot off the brake to maximize your launch so we're just gonna wait till some traffic goes and then we're going to try out the launch control <laughs> okay put it into drive put it into sport transmission all the cars are out of the way so now left foot on brake Right foot on gas, it says launch control active, and why is it not building a boost? Oh, there we go, 8, 9, 10, 11, whoa, okay, we've got slippery conditions, I'm on winter tires, that boost did not go, <laughs> that launch didn't go as planned, but that was still awesome, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Did like a little burnout, apes. Don't, put your, don't leave your handbrake on or nothing will happen. <laughs> it won't build any boost. So that's how you do launch control. And I'm just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna head over to the dealership now. I'm excited to see how that looked. It wasn't the best launch, of course, because I didn't get much traction off the line, but that's okay. But we're back at the store now. And that was awesome. So if you're trying to get your fastest uh, zero to 100 then that's what you need to do is launch control uh, we advertise at about 4.3 seconds uh, in real time it's about uh, 3.7 3.8 uh, that launch was not that fast though because I lost traction um, but if you try another launch right after uh, I think it will take that into account and uh, prevent the wheel slip because I've done that before as well so ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do the launch control in the 2024 BMW M240i. Uh, it's always a pleasure to shoot those videos of course and uh, thank you again so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and we will see you on the next video. <laughs> okay, so number one, put it into sport. So we are in sport plus. Number two, we want to put it into dynamic traction so this is the one we're selecting and then what we're going to do I like to leave it on the live vehicle screen like this so I'm gonna press my foot on the brake put it into s1 and then with my left foot on the brake 
right foot on the gas. This is what we're going to see here. And this is what I'm talking about, the boost building up.